in the previous video, uh, we're not going to focus on the neutrons very much. We're back to thinking about protons and electrons and ignoring the neutrons. Uh, and because uh, now we're going to be talking about atoms versus ions. And the thing you have to know about atoms, one of them is that atoms are always neutral, which means they have no charge. And if they have no charge, that means that the number of protons equals number of electrons. Number of protons equals number of electrons. So now, since your periodic table tells you how many protons an element has, you now know that if it's an atom, it has the same number of electrons. Ions have gained or lost electrons and have a charge. And our first example is gonna be sodium. So we go to our periodic table. It says sodium right here is Na. It's got 11 protons. So this is for the sodium atom, 11 protons. It also has 11 electrons. And uh, whenever I think about ions, I always think of the atom first because uh, electrons are tricky. Electrons are negative. So if you want a positive charge, and again, this is still sodium, so it still has 11 protons. But in order to get a positive charge, it has to lose an electron. And therefore, it only has 10 electrons. And one way to do this is I, I always, we, we count electrons a lot in this course. So uh, you need a good way of keeping this uh, in your head correctly. And again, it takes me some work. So one thing to check is you have 11 pluses because you have 11 protons. You have 10 minuses. So you can actually do the math. 11 minus 10 is plus 1. And you can do that in your head or you can do it on paper. Uh, but it's a common mistake that I see with students is that they look at the positive charge and they add an electron thinking that positive means add something to it. Anyway, we'll work on it, right? Okay. So, um, yes, and we'll see that the sodium plus ion is a very common sodium ion. Now, um, Chlorine, chlorine atom, and you'll always have your periodic table on exams, not just in this course, um, but in other courses as well. So we're going to learn as much as we can with regards to this periodic table right here. And it looks like this. So chlorine, up oh, there it is. Cl17, 17, 17 protons. And I'm just going to use P for protons there. 17 electrons. Now, this is the chloride ion. We will soon learn its name if you haven't already. Still has 17 protons. It has a minus charge, that is 18 electrons. You can do it like this, plus 17 for the protons, minus 18. Yes, that does have a minus one charge. And I guess we can write charge here. Now what I want you to do in this space over here is do the same type of analysis I've just done here for sulfur, and I will be checking it. Now, again, so when I ask you a problem throughout this course, I'm just gonna talk about the ox, so oxygen with a charge on it. This turns out to be the oxide ion. It turns out to be O2 minus. We go to our periodic table. We find that oxygen has eight protons. And again, I'm gonna show you my process. You don't have to write this. You can think it in your head or however you get the right answer for this. So oxygen atom, eight protons, eight electrons. We know that they're always the same because it's always neutral. Protons positive, electrons negative, cancel out. Now it's two minus, that means we're going to have to add two negative charges. So O2 minus ion, add two negative charges. That means add two electrons. We have 10 electrons for that. 
And down the road, we are going to be able to do this in our head. Um, that's the goal anyway. Calcium ion, two plus charge. Let's look at calcium. Calcium's right here. It has 20 protons. Oh, so again, calcium atom, 20 protons, 20 electrons, calcium two plus. Well, if it's gonna be two plus, it's going to lose two electrons. And we have only 18 electrons. Good.